Okay, well, okay. today we're going to general page 11, factoring polynomials. Factoring polynomial steps. Step 1, find the greatest common factor. Step 2, factor ax squared plus bx plus c using the reverse box method. All right, go ahead and write this down, and let's take a look at the next page. All right, example 1, factor the polynomial identified as irreducible. If the polynomial is irreducible, right, not factorable. So the first thing we do is factor out the greatest common factor, which is x, which leaves x squared plus 2x minus 3. Now, our final answer is going to have x in it. Two parentheses because x squared is two parentheses. Okay. Now, we're not going to worry about the x anymore. We know it's in the final answer. Now we're going to factor the x squared plus 2x minus 3. So x squared is the first term. Minus 3 is the last term. These two need to combine to be the middle term, which is 2x. Now, we need to figure out what Multiplies give you x squared. Well, that's easy. x and x. x times x is x squared. Now we need to figure out what numbers multiply to give you negative 3 combined to be positive 2. Since the middle number is positive, the bigger number needs to be positive. So negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Negative 1 plus 3 is 2. So we have our negative 3, our 2. So our factors are x minus 1, x plus 3. Now let's make sure this works. x times negative 1 is negative 1x. 3 times x is 3x. 3x minus 1x is 2x. So this works. So our factors are x times x minus 1, x plus 3. All right, go ahead and finish up example 1. All right, let's take a look at example 2. Factors of the polynomial identified as irreducible. If the polynomial is irreducible, right, not factorable. So... Factor out an x, which is x times x squared plus 5x plus 6. Now, our final answer will have x in it. Two parentheses because of x squared. Okay. Now, now we're going to worry about the x squared plus 5x plus 6. So first term is x squared. Last term is 6. The middle terms need to combine to be 5x. Now we know x and x makes x squared. Now we need to figure out what numbers multiply to give you 6 combined to be 5. Well, the only combination to make 6 is 1 times 6. 1 times 6 is 6. 1 plus 6 is 7. There's no possible way to find two numbers that multiply to give you 6 combined to be 5. So this is not factorable. Go ahead and finish up example two. All right, example three. Factor the polynomial identified as irreducible. If the polynomial is irreducible, write the not factorable. So here we can factor out an x squared, which leaves 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. Now our final answer will have x squared because of the x squared here, we have two parentheses. Okay. Now, we're going to focus on here using reverse box method. So first term, 2x squared. Last term, 3. And this needs to combine to be 5x. Okay. Now, the only way to get 2x squared is 2x times x. Now, we need to figure out what number is multiplied to give you 3. Well, 1 times 3 is 3. Now, the, whenever you have a number other than x here, you have to do trial and error to figure out what works. Well, we know 1 and 3 are the numbers that would go here, so we have to figure out how to get 5x. Well, if I multiply 3 times x, that's 3. So 3 times x is 3x. So now let's think about, well, the only other option is 1. Let's see, 1 times 2 is 2x. 2x plus 3x is 5x, so this combination works. So our factor is x squared times 2x plus 3 and x plus 1. All right, go ahead and finish up example 3. All right, let's take a look at example 4. Factor the polynomial or identify it as irreducible. If the polynomial is irreducible, right, not factorable. So 
again, we can factor out an x squared from each term, which leaves 2x squared plus 11x plus 5. So x squared is going to be in our final answer, two parentheses. Now, first term is 2x squared, last term is 5. These need to combine to be 11x. Okay, so now we do 2x and x makes x squared. Now, there's only one combination that gives you 5, 1 times 5. So now we just trial and error, okay? So let's try plus 5 here, plus 1 here. 1 times 2 is 2x. 5 times x is 5x. So 2x plus 5x does not equal 11x, okay? So now let's try the other possibility, which would be plus 1 here, plus 5 here. x times 1 is 1x. 5 times 2 is 10x. 10x plus 11x, 1 is 11x. So this factors. So this is x squared times 2x plus 1 and x plus 5. All right, go ahead and finish up example 4. Start working on your assignment and have a wonderful Wildcat day.